A deserted marina, fishing boats tied up with no place to go. The fishermen here no longer catch enough to make ends meet. All the time things are changing. You don't have to live near the coast to worry about what's happening to the ocean. Louis Morelli has worked on the water for as long as he can remember. I love being on the water. I love everything about it. But Louis says things are changing. It's slowly depleting. Um, it's especially salmon. One reason, ocean dead zones. Where you used to see abundant marine life, uh, today you don't. Ocean chemist Peter Brewer studies dead zones at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute. It's typically regions of the ocean where there's too little oxygen or too much carbon dioxide. These anoxic waters with little or no oxygen force marine life to move to oxygen-rich waters to survive. There is a dead zone off the coast of Oregon and another off Louisiana. They represent two of 400 dead zones around the world. Dr. Brewer believes these zones will expand. You combine temperature, oxygen, and carbon dioxide, you get a messy picture. But what is the cause of these dead zones? On the ocean surface, phytoplankton take in CO2 and give off oxygen. When they die, they sink to the ocean bottom, where bacteria breaks them down by taking in oxygen and giving off CO2, increasing areas of phytoplankton from fertilizers that have run off into the ocean is also creating more CO2. It's going to take thousands of years to reverse that. Uh, those changes are largely irreversible. That makes earning a living from the ocean harder and harder each year, and there seems to be little help on the way. I'm Jacqueline London, reporting.